All right, what is up everybody? Dr. Landon here from Spiral Secrets, and I'm bringing you part three of spirals in sports, right? So the first one we did uh, Rory McIlroy in his uh, very powerful and balanced golf swing, showing his spirals. And then we showed you uh, Mookie Betts from the LA Dodgers, very similar spiraling, right? A golf swing, baseball swing. And then here we have Roger Federer with a very similar um, spiral motion and it's because these are all swinging sports and it's all biomechanics it's all energy uh, and it's all spirals right so there's only a, a really there's a very specific way that energy moves around the body uh safely all right so i'm going to show you exactly what that that is okay so let's go ahead and watch this a uh, nice easy warm-up swing you know but you'll still see the spirals coming around his body right there boom right so let's reverse it and let's see where he starts he's basically opening up to this back shoulder right this right shoulder opening up back this way spiraling 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 this way spiraling spiraling you could even see he picks up uh the left foot to give uh more slack for his uh for his leg to rotate backwards, right? Or else if you keep that foot down, you're probably gonna get a knee valgus because you're, you're, there's just too much tension on that side. So instead he picks up the heel and allows for more rotation. And then as he begins to strike the ball and rotate back to the other side, he's gonna plant his weight on this leg and then everything's going to rotate back this way. Right? Let's see. Right, so he's planting, then there's the weight shift, then everything is rotating, 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 right? Go back, go back. Right here, right? You see how he planted on this leg? Here, and then everything begins to rotate back the other way. He's closed that shoulder, right? Very similar to the golf swing, remember? From um, uh, Rory McIlroy, he's opening up this way, and then shifts his weight and then it pivots around his front leg and then all the spirals go around that leg. Same thing with Mookie Betts, same thing with all really, really good tennis players, right? So let's go ahead and continue these spirals. Once you see it, you really can't unsee it because this is just the natural path. You know, this is how um, you and me would swing a ball uh, with enough training uh, it's inherent in your in your body. It's inherent in your uh, biomechanics. Watch here as he basically... Oh, I guess you don't get to see it. Let's go to the next one. Um, this one is a nice uh, forehand one right here. So watch this. So right here, uh, his weight is planted on his back foot, right? So his whole body is... Rotating this way, rotating, 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 rotating uh, over his left shoulder. So he's rotated to the right. And then when he's going to hit, he's going to shift his weight and then plant on his lead left leg. And then all the rotations are going to go around that leg. I'll show you in slow motion. So boom, right there. So he's already rotating, right? So his whole body... Begins to rotate this way, 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 all right? Off this planted leg, and then boom, all right? So when he finishes a swing, now he's planted there, and you can really see the spirals, all right? This leg is gonna come back this way, he's gonna come around here, all right? See there? Boom. So that's why we say it doesn't really make any sense to train in straight lines because it doesn't transfer directly uh, to the sport, right? If he wants to put, it on, put on a lot of size or put on uh, muscle, just because you put on muscle doesn't mean that that muscle is laid down in a way that transfers to your sport, right? So it could even get in the way, right? Like, um, you know, you always hear of guys who put on so much size, they're so bulky, they lose their athleticism. 
most pro level athletes don't want to be huge, right? It, maybe they need to put on a good amount of size, but they want to be able to move well. They want to be able to uh, be explosive, be fast, be quick, have sharp reflexes. They want to be able to um, maneuver angles, right? And just having a lot of muscle mass is not going to give that to you. Uh, being able to use the mat, the mass that you have, uh, being able to create angles, being able to um, make powerful uh, moves, that's all spiraling, right? It's, it's not straight lines. How many straight lines will you need to, uh, to complete a spiral, right? Like maybe 10 of them and you have something that resembles a low resolution spiral, right? Maybe 100, you start seeing more of a spiral motion. Why not train in a, in a complete spiral, right? That's where we're coming from. Let me see if I can move myself to this side. Beautiful. So let's go ahead and see this. Another nice, easy swing. Right, plant, right, watch this. He's gonna plant this leg and then he's going to spiral this way, right? So he's already in this position, right? In this position, he's opened up this way, right? And then when he's going to release those spirals, he's gonna come back this way. It's very, you know, simple. Right, plant, rotate, boom. You guys see that? You see how beautiful that is? Right, so let me just draw it out for you guys so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Can you guys see that? You see how his his foot is pointing uh like sort of out there and then when the energy continues it moves back this way in so that the heel gums comes away you guys see that i hope so boom and then let's see um what happens after that there should be another one beautiful so watch this All right so his weight is going through this leg currently Right, and the spirals are have already gone this way. He just he already closed them, and so when he releases them, he's gonna shift and land on this leg, and then the spirals will come this way. Right, shift the weight. Boom. Right. So he shifted back. So he's, his weight is on his right here and then he shifts back into his left. But it's the same thing. You see how the spirals um, open up to his, to his right side? Right here. So let's go ahead and pay attention to where his right foot is pointing. When that spiral continues, boom, it's gonna open back up and come this way. Right. Well, that's it, guys. Um, hopefully, you guys can see the similar um, spiraling mechanics from golf, from baseball, from tennis. Uh, I'll show you frisbee. I'll show you hockey. And um, you know, if you guys want a shortcut, it's going to be very, very similar, right? Because this is all um, energy. This is all biomechanics. This is all uh, tensegrity, fascial tensegrity. I don't know if you guys know about that, but this is all the most efficient, the most powerful, the most durable way to um, basically perform in anything, perform in sports, perform in walking, perform in tennis, um, because it's all spirals. That's how the, the universe is, that's the map, right? If you're using a straight line map on a road that is actually spirals, you know, you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna crash a lot. And that's what we find with people who train uh, in straight lines, they always get hurt, they always get injured, and then to rehab, they train more straight lines, and then now their risk of injury just goes up and up and up and up, and you see it all the time in high school sports, in collegiate level sports, in pro level athletes, you know, even the really, really young kids who should not be tearing their ACL in like seventh grade, like, it's crazy, it's crazy, but 
that's it for today. Um, I hope you guys learned something in spirals in sports episode number three. Um, let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Is it smart? Is it stupid? You guys think I'm crazy. Uh, you guys think I'm freaking wild, but I don't really care. Anyways, um, let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will talk to you guys real soon.